gonna pick up Colorado part two here. Uh, I'm actually filming this a lot later. I'm back in Tahoe. It's February 13th. If you watched the last video, you probably saw that I accidentally deleted a lot of the footage, a lot of the skiing footage from my time in Colorado. Huge bummer for sure. And I was able to kind of make it work for the first video, but this one didn't really fit together without the skiing footage. So this one I'll pick up in Beaver Creek and then pretty much like skip four days later afterwards. But yeah, I guess the footage I missed, so I had three days of skiing in Colorado with my mom, Aunt Laura, my little cousins, Teddy and Charlie. We skied Beaver Creek Vale, Beaver Creek again. Got some good powder skiing in. Third day at Beaver Creek. Had a ton of fun. Uh, <laughs> I feel really bad. It's one thing to delete my own footage of just me skiing by myself, but yeah, had a lot of good stuff with them skiing as well. But luckily I'll get another chance. I'm meeting back up with them in Oregon in a couple days, like a family reunion at my grandparents' house. But yeah, so we'll pick up in Beaver Creek and then skip to kind of after, I'm trying to figure out where to go next. So apologies in advance. Hopefully the video still kind of makes sense. Okay, today's, today is, question gets harder every day January it's January today is Wednesday January 25th nailed it first try um, I'm in Beaver Creek Colorado my mom my aunt Laura my little cousins Teddy and Charlie flew out and so I drove up from Boulder today gonna ski for a few days did a huge grocery run and somehow in the process we misplaced the beer between the cashier and the van so as soon as we noticed, had to immediately come back. So yeah, okay, gonna yeah, so gonna ski Thursday, Friday, Saturday here. I'm gonna try to get to Aspen on Sunday to catch the X Games. Hopefully that works out. It's free entry, so might as well give it a go. It's, it looks like a lot of fun. So yeah, Beaver Creek, it might ski Vale a day or two. I think they're on the same path, so stay tuned for some updates. Today's Sunday, January 29th. Uh, my mom, Aunt Laura, and those guys just left the airport from Beaver Creek, and now I gotta figure out what to do with my day. <laughs> the original plan was to drive to Aspen and go to the X Games today. It's the last day, it was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday event. Yeah, the roads there look kinda sketchy. There's been all sorts of traffic problems and I'm kinda now starting to get worried the parking situation for the van is gonna be a mess. So, having some second thoughts. I ran out of propane like a day or two ago. I was sleeping inside at the house they were at. But the water is probably pretty well frozen at this point, so I'm gonna need to go get some propane today and start the thawing process. It's a crow on the ground. Yeah, one issue is that there's really nowhere to fill propane here. There's a gas station that said they could do it at 10 a.m. It's eight right now, so I gotta wait two hours. And I wasn't super confident in our communication that I was gonna get a guaranteed uh, fill at 10, so. Uh, the other option is to drive to Frisco, like 40 minutes away. I would like to feel productive right now, so I might just do it, just to do it. The issue right now is that the propane tank that fits in like the custom spot uh, next to the water tank is super small. It's two and a half gallons, and so, you know, in the in the summer, I think it'll last for a long time, only heating a little bit at nights, but yeah, the propane's been lasting like three days, so <laughs> it's kind of a huge pain to be, you know, every three days, be like, all right, where's the propane fill? And, it's not like the most convenient. Yeah, if I could get another one of those tanks, it would double my capacity. We're gonna look for a new, for another propane tank, if I could find one, but it's pretty custom size, so not super optimistic. But I might go ski, like there's a bunch of areas, maybe go ski Winter Park or something. Yeah, I don't really know what to do today. It feels weird. Other, another issue, my ski jacket kind of just disintegrated in the wash last night, but <laughs> the pockets like completely fell apart. Not even, like completely unrelated to the tree I hit and blew a hole in the shoulder like a month ago, but it's gone, it's done. Yeah, the pockets just like fell out. The having to get a new ski jacket doesn't exactly coerce me to driving to Aspen. I don't think buying a ski jacket in Aspen is gonna be the most cost effective way to do it. So we'll see what happens today. We'll see what we get up to. Do some video editing. I sort of changed my mind and I'm in Aspen now. There was a Tractor Supply Co. on the way here that sold propane canisters. I was hoping they would have a backup one of the size that I have. They did not. So that was a bummer. But uh, I was like, you know, I, when am I ever gonna get to see the X Games again? So 
Here we are. I'm at the event parking and they're busing people there. So Eagles game starts in 20 minutes. I'm gonna take the shuttle up and see if there's like a bar at the mountain that'll kind of have it. It might be a total mess. So we're gonna see how this goes, but you know, yeah, figure why not. <laughs> Here we go. Back forehand. Switch, right side triple. Wow. Stay forward on this one. To the left. Oh, 2160's trying it. Um, all right, just got back from the X Games. Really sick. Yeah, that was totally worth going to. It was awesome. I got to see the men's ski big air competition. This is just insane. Those guys go huge. Let's see, Mac Forehand won, who is actually the only one I knew coming into it just from Instagram. But he landed the first 2160 in ski competition, which is six spins. So picture how much time you have to spend in the air to do six spins. So yeah, currently in Aspen, I'm in the overflow parking. You can park here overnight. I'm working tomorrow, so I'm not gonna ski. I don't really have great cell service and I run my computer off my hotspot, so I can't do it here. I might have to drive to Glenwood, which is just a little bit back up the road. So today's Sunday, so I'll work tomorrow, Monday, and then maybe Tuesday, depending on how long the project takes. Uh, and then hopefully ski Aspen a day or two. And then I think I'm gonna try to get to Jackson soon, next couple days. Uh, Kings and Queens is on Sunday, a week from today. Kings and Queens of Corbett's Galar. It's a ski competition into Corbett's. Much like this, people go absolutely huge. It's on YouTube, it looks sick. I'm sure in person, it's just awesome. So uh, yeah, I think I'd like to get there for that. So next couple days, we're coming together nicely. Monday. I'm actually working today. Still in or near Aspen. I'm in Glenwood Springs. So probably like 40 minutes north. Um, yeah, just gonna work for the day. I finished up the first project I was working on. It sounds like they have another ready. Just gonna work. I also don't need to necessarily coincide with the work day. I'm gonna go look for a ski jacket because mine is pretty much completely falling apart. A little bit of a bummer to be probably buying it in Aspen. That'd be more expensive, but at this point, driving somewhere else to go buy one doesn't make sense with just gas. Like, end up spending more money on gas, and I don't have an address to ship anything to. So, <laughs> we'll have to go see what we can find. But yeah, I'm just gonna work for a couple hours and, you know, maybe pay for this jacket that I'm about to drop probably a fortune on. So. All right, well, we made it to Aspen. It's been snowing for a lot of the day. It's super pretty out. Not, I don't know, not exactly sure what to do. Everything's so fancy. <laughs> Trying to find a ski code and didn't have too much luck, but it's a fun city to walk around, a fun little town. Trying to see if I can recognize any landmarks from Dumb and Dumber. It's the goal of the day. It's, uh, it's Tuesday in Aspen. I'm gonna ski today. I have a work meeting at two, so I gotta be a little speedy. I think I can just ski mostly a half day. I was doing some jacket shopping yesterday because I kind of tore out my fly low. Uh, didn't see anything, so if I'm gonna ski, I need to do some repair work, so let's see how this goes. Uh, the biggest issue is uh, like the pockets are kind of all torn up. I don't want snow getting in there, so I'm gonna like tenacious tape over some of these holes. So let's see what we can do. Okay, had a had a fun morning skiing Aspen. They actually got a couple inches of snow last night, which was really fun. So I got a couple laps in and then I had to leave. I had a work meeting 
drove back up to Glenwood Springs where I had worked like two days ago yesterday, it was probably yesterday. And I think I'm gonna audible and drive to Steamboat right now. They've been getting a ton of snow this winter and I've heard a lot of good things. I had like three people text me like, you gotta get to Steamboat. So, gonna go to Steamboat. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably ski there for a day or two, maybe two, and then drive to Jackson. I have a ski coach that moved there a couple years ago. I texted him, so we're gonna link up. It's definitely a good mountain to have somebody know where to go. Yeah, two hour drive to Steamboat, no biggie. Uh, they have a Walmart there, so I'm probably gonna stay in that parking lot and then. Should all work out. Uh, I don't think that they actually have any fresh snow, but it's just been a good season, so we'll go check it out. Um, so yeah. We made it to Steamboat. Got here at like five. Today's Tuesday. It's super cold, it's like negative five right now. Gonna run out of propane, I'm pretty sure tonight. So yeah, tomorrow morning is gonna suck. Looks like the snow's gonna be good. I haven't seen snow banks like this since Lake Tahoe when I left in December. I think of the Colorado resorts, Steamboat's been getting hit the hardest. It sure looks like that looking around. They're like, yeah, I think the plan is hang out here for two days and then drive to Jackson. In the Steamboat parking lot, uh, just gonna start getting ready for the ski day. Yeah, if you uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw like last night I, uh, I ran out of propane and it got down to negative 16 degrees Fahrenheit. So, this morning sucked. It was pretty terrible. But uh, I was able to get myself out of bed and turn on the engine and start slowly heating the air. But all of the surfaces in here, like the floor and the bed are just quite cold. Uh, looks like a nice day. Looks like maybe a bluebird day. I think I'm gonna start sleeping with my ski boots because every time I run out of heat and they sit in the back, they freeze, and putting them on is, I mean, it, it, it's torture. Yeah, it, it hurts a lot. <sighs> Finished day two of two at Steamboat. That's gonna wrap up the Colorado tour. Let's see, so in, I'll count up how many days it's been, but we hit, so since Telluride hit, Crested Butte, Breckenridge, Beaver Creek Vale, Aspen, and Steamboat. So six in, so six places in 11 days. It's pretty good, uh, pretty solid. I skied one day only at Crested Butte and Aspen and Vale. I guess I did two at Beaver Creek and two at Steamboat. Overall, really fun, I had a good time. It was good to see some family along the way and meet a bunch of new friends. I forgot to film anything wrapping it up after stopping at Steamboat today. So I'm actually in my next destination right now. I drove to Wyoming and we're in Jackson Hole right now. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll be here for at least four or five days. Get some good skiing in. I'm gonna try to save a day or two on the Icon Pass in case they get a big storm. I'll come back later, but fun. Two weeks in Colorado, time for some Wyoming time. Tune into the next one, I'll be skiing Jackson Hole. Should be, should be a good time. Thanks for watching.